Senator, I'm interested in your response to the governor's uh, promise or threat uh, to issue executive orders as necessary to implement aspects of HB 2020. Well, that's interesting. And the fact that we, the legislature, decided not to move the bill forward because it is so difficult to uh, manage, it's so huge, it's such an impact on Oregonians of $550 million, and it does nothing to change climate. Uh, I find it would be uh, interesting that she would even try to do that. But she put she she actually put herself into a corner uh, by having to do this because of the fact that she said that it was history for the state, history for the country, history for the world. Unfortunately, HB 2020 is just now history. And I think because she backed herself into this corner, she has to try to do something to get her credibility back. Do you think, or do you have any idea what she could do, what power she has? I have no idea what she thinks that she can do. Uh, she wants to create, she, in HB 2020, she wanted to create a whole new agency, and I don't think she can do that without our approval. Um, I don't know what she could probably do an edict saying that um, you can only burn 20 gallons of gas a week. I don't know what she has authority to do or not. Okay, any other comments? No, I, I just think that uh, uh, as we look at climate change, we, we need to become adaptable, but we need to look at technologies that are available, such as nuclear, that can reduce our carbon output, and we don't even want to talk about that. So um, when we get to that point, then we'll have another discussion.